So in the previous videos, we have looked at uh, political theory and the nature of political science. So in this video, let's take it further. We understand that political science explains what is, that is, it enquires into what men and women actually do in a political situation. I repeat, political science explains what is, it enquires into what men and women actually do in a political situation. Political philosophy on the other hand looks at what ought to be done for the purpose of leading a good life. I repeat, political philosophy looks at what ought to be done for the purpose of leading the good life. For example, Plato depicts an ideal society in his works. The purpose of depicting an ideal state is not that the ideal state is an end in itself. The state is to serve as a means to lead a good life whatever one's conception of good might be. I repeat, the purpose of depicting an ideal state is not that the ideal state is an end in itself. The state is to serve as a means to lead a good life whatever one's conception of a good life might be. The fundamental purpose of classical western philosophy is to criticize the existing society, to look inwards and continue to discover evolving meanings of concepts like justice, equality, rights, etc. Just consider this, justice, equality, rights, all of these are concepts that are debatable. So it is the, it is the job of political philosophy to look and discover and rediscover the evolving meanings of these concepts. Political philosophy examines concepts we take for granted, for example, rights and obligations, equality, justice, and philosophy seeks to question the notions as they exist as well. Philosophy then wanders to find the more ideal form of concepts of justice, equality, power, legitimacy, authority, liberty, democracy, etc. It becomes almost impossible to give an accurate one-line definition of any of these concepts. You can try. Most of the philosophers would have given some sort of an explanation and a definition for each of these terms and with time these concepts evolve. So most of these concepts like equality, justice, power, they depend on the prevalent social consciousness or the prevalent social understanding. Philosophy is more about understanding and exploring these concepts uh, to see what they mean in the existing social context, clarifying them and finding ways to redefine these concepts to help the society tend towards a better life. Political philosophy looks at the grounds at which the existing relations of the society and law are laid out and begins to find the rational basis for the same. In this way, Political philosophy seeks justification for the existing norms in the society and explores how they can undergo a change to help lead a better life. For example, what are the rational basis for having given reservation to scheduled castes and tribes in India? What is the rational for continuing the same after 75 years of independence? Is the existing system really uplifting those at the bottom? Is there a better way to go about uplifting the poorer sections of the society? Hence, in addition to the normative, that is, what ought to be done, political philosophy looks to clarify certain concepts. Clarification of concepts involves three steps. The first step is analysis, the second step is synthesis, and the third step is improvement of the concepts. Analysis involves defining a concept by specifying the elements that make up the concept. For example, the simplest definition of authority is exercising legitimate power. The simplest definition of sovereignty is the supreme legal authority over a geographical area. Now we will come to synthesis. Synthesis helps in drawing relation between two different concepts. For example, Power in a cloak of legitimacy is authority. I repeat, power in a cloak of legitimacy is authority. This is synthesis. Synthesis helps in drawing relations between two different concepts. So, in this case, 
we are drawing relation between three concepts power legitimacy and authority now every right is balanced by an obligation or a duty improvement of a concept looks to define the existing concept better either limiting its scope or expanding it but by making the use of the term more clearer for example it is now understood that the concept of sovereignty should be applied only to the legal authority of a state and not to its coercive power i repeat it is now understood that the concept of sovereignty should be applied only to the legal authority of a state and not to its coercive power the state has its sovereignty when it acts legally when it suppresses a mob that is rioting with a proportionate use of force and disperses it however if the state open fires on a rioting mob massacring it then the sovereignty of the state will not stand external powers like the un and others may choose to intervene now political philosophy has two broad functions one it tries to tell us what ought to be done second it clarifies defines and redefines concepts like democracy rights and obligations duties power liberty etc political philosophy tries to explore what makes a human life better 